our musical talents for today. A very familiar name for anyone living in West Michigan. That's right. They've been playing together for six years and live together in a farmhouse right outside of Wayland. So hence the name Wayland. <laughs> Let's meet Phil Walensky and the band. First of all, Phil, we know you're a graduate of Wayland High School. I am. And go Wildcats, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we uh, want to have you introduce us to the rest of the guys in the band here. Cool. Yeah. Um, this is Mitch Arnold. Uh, Mitch and I write the songs together and Mitch is the lead singer. And a heck of a lead singer at that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Dean Pizzazz on the bass. Perfect name. Yeah. We love that. Who Pizzazz. actually learned to play bass to be in this band. Ooh, I love that. You're very motivated. I am. <laughs> 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 and Tyler Colburn on the drums from Middleville, Michigan. So from like 10 minutes away from Wayland. From TK High School, is that it? All right, All right there you go. <laughs> See, we got to give a shout out to our local schools. Yeah. How neat. Well, so you've been together for six years and you are playing all over the place. West Michigan, all over the United States and beyond. Yeah, we, we were in Australia in 2009. Uh, we headlined the Sydney Tattoo Expo for like 12,000 people, which was incredible. Yeah, that's a really big opportunity. Yeah, it was great. We made some, some lifelong friends while we were over there as well. So tell us, how would you describe your music? Uh, we like to call it rock and roll. Okay, you know, simple as that, right? <laughs> there's a lot of rock music out there, you know, which is great, but we, we like to make sure the role is, is included in what we do. Very nice. Well, I'm super excited. I am a big music lover, just like mm -hmm. you are. So how did you get your start all together? Uh, Mitch and I started out as an acoustic duo, actually, and we played on streets all over, like, look with our guitar case open, collecting money to pay rent. Love it. Um, <laughs> and then eventually when we got hired to play in some bars and we needed to be louder, so we needed to build a band around it. Dean was our best friend who lived with us actually as a roommate and came to all of our shows and supported the band. Sat him down for a talk one day and was like, dude, you should play the bass. You know? <laughs> and, uh, and he went for it. You know? Fantastic. So, yeah, and he's turned into just such an amazing musician. In that. And uh, Tyler, um, we actually were auditioning drummers. We had people sending in uh, videotapes. We auditioned around 30 or 40 drummers. Tyler sent us a videotape of himself playing some of our songs. And it was really touching, you know, just really charming. And obviously he's an amazing drummer and a great guy, fit right into the group. So we've been playing together ever since. So tell us about what it takes, because um, we've had a lot of musicians on 8 West and we know that there's a lot of competition out there. Is it easier or harder to get your music heard by a big audience just because of technology, the internet, all the different concerts there are? That's, that's a strange question because it's easier to put it out there, but it's harder to get people to pay attention okay. because there's so much out there, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, I, I, it, gosh, you know, it's almost luck. That if someone stumbles across our song on YouTube and writes about it on our Facebook page, we feel like it's pure luck. We're like, oh my gosh, thank God they saw that, <laughs> you know, okay. and liked it. You have a really big fan base in one of the local radio stations here. You want to give a big shout out to WGRD? Oh my, yeah, we they've championed your music. Really. They've changed our changed our lives, you know, and given us an amazing summer ahead of us, and hope and kind of kicked off our career. I mean, I shouldn't say kind of. They've absolutely kicked off our <laughs> career. Um, they put Shopping for a Savior on. Uh, it started with the free beer and hot wings guys in the morning, and then JT, the program director, got behind us full on and put that out at late February. It's been in the top 10 on GRD, from what I understand, since then. And then just yesterday, they um, released our, uh, the version we did of Bob Seger's Fire Down Below. Ah. We debuted it on Free Beer and Hot Wings, and they put it right into rotation. Wow, that's amazing. So it's amazing. just incredibly exciting time for us. Wow. Yeah. And you have a big concert coming up this weekend right here in West Michigan. People can come and see you with some great, well-known national headliners. Yeah, we are just completely honored to be playing with these guys. It's uh, Seether, Hinder, and the Sick Puppies, and Wayland. And we're playing uh, the Fifth Third Ballpark. It's tomorrow. Hopefully the rain holds out. I was going to say, <laughs> the rain will be yeah. over, I promise. As we just ran in here. Coming. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. And, and so doors open early. It's really important. I guess there's been some confusion, but the doors open at 3, apparently. Okay. We, we, we're playing around 5.20, I think. It's an early concert. The mm -hmm. whole thing's going to be wrapped up by 10.30. Good. But it should be amazing. So much fun. I wish I could go. I know, I know. I'm bummed that I can't, but you'll be around here a lot over the next couple of months. I hope so. We're going we're gonna, to, I mean, we're traveling all over the Midwest, uh, but, you know, we always make a point to come back to Grand Rapids. We just played uh, the intersection last Friday, and it's the energy in that room uh, was unlike anywhere else that we play. It was absolutely amazing. You had but, a huge audience there. 
right? I, I, yeah, I mean, I guess, and they all came, <laughs> so it was, yeah, it was amazing. Well, that's great. People can connect to your music. You're on iTunes. You have a website. Yeah, at waylandtheband.com. And kind of that can take you to our Facebook page. It can take you to our iTunes. You know, CDs and T-shirts are sold there as well. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, what are you playing for us today? Um, we're actually going to do an acoustic version of the the song that WGRD put out called "Shopping for a Savior." All right, Waylon, take it away. Thank you. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. I don't know how long I can run.